Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and first of all I would like to thank all my Patreon and YouTube supporters for their backing. If you are not one of them, please consider becoming one for as little as $2 a month. But now, let's go back to the topic. If you ask average enough pilot who makes the best flight controllers, um, I would bet that in 7 out of 10 cases, and the number 7 is not coincidence because I checked the statistic, the answer would be something from the MATEC. MATEC, the, the manufacturer that gave us 405 wing, 722 wing, 765 wing, and now finally a year, almost exactly a year after the Matek F765, the previous flagship from the Matek company, uh, appeared on the market. We have something completely new. And this thing, um, it's massive. Well, not it's exactly the same form factor as the previous one. It's called H, yes, it H, not F, but H743. And with some extra accessories I have over there, over here, it really makes one hell of a super interesting flight controller. The Matek H743 wing comes in almost exactly the same form factor as the other wing series from Matek. The same characteristic layout when we have a bottom board, middle board with the, all the electronics and a top board, which on the 7H5, 7H5, Seven snows, uh, too many numbers. 765 acts also as a voltage stabilizer because on the main board there was just not enough space to put everything you needed. And when you remove the top board, we will notice that, well, um, see, a lot of electronics on this side, and you have to wire the, the cables from this side to this side to power this thing up. But besides that, besides that, it looks almost, almost exactly like 765, for example. But can you spot an obvious difference? Yes? No? Um, where is the USB connector? How are you supposed to connect this thing to a laptop to a PC and configure this thing. Um, if you look very carefully, you will also notice that the buzzer pads are, well, in a slightly strange place and there are additional things that you never really saw before on the Matic boards like the CAN bus. Hmm, what the... F I don't want to say ugh, I want to say what the heck is the comeback? Let's begin with the most obvious difference. Um, it is H7, not 4.7. H7 CPUs are about twice as fast as F7 series. Um, it's not that uh, I have an Ardu pilot because this thing runs Ardu pilot and in the future also I have. But when I'm recording this video, the I have target is not there yet, so we will have to wait slightly. And currently, only the Ardu pilot target is operational. Um, it's not that we need this extra processing power. However, with the filter development that is happening right now, this extra power might actually become handy in the year or two. And we are just preparing for the, for the upcoming phase. So this is the difference. It's twice as fast. It has uh, 13 PWM outputs. Uh, 12 because 13 is the LED output. It has uh, 7, how many? 7, 6, I always forget. 7 uh, serial ports. It has 2 I2C buses. It has 1 SPI. Yes, it has 1 SPI broken out so you can, you can, you will be able to connect something via the SPI when such uh, things will pop up into the existence and it, like I said, it has broken out one CAN bus, which um, if you are any in the motor industry, you might know the CAN bus from there, but we will go into the CAN bus in the wild because it's, a, it's almost a separate topic. So, um, how to connect and of course, um, the new D DPS uh, 310 barometer, which is super precise, but I will not waste time on this right now. So, how to connect the USB port? 
to the H743 and how to connect the buzzer and the answer is ta -dum, ta -dum, there is a separate board that just that does just that. It has integrated buzzer that you can turn off and on, which kinda to be honest is super nice because sometimes you just want to turn off this bloody thing. You then plug the wire to the main board, bury the flight controller somewhere deep, only break out in your airplane the small board to connect USB-C. Yes, this is the USB-C and we will see more and more of the USB-C on the flight controller. It has the boot button, it has the integrated buzzer and the on-off switch. So, super, super interesting, super cool, super cool stuff. And uh, in theory that would be almost all about H743, if not the CAN bus. Because Together with this flight controller, Matek also started to introduce devices that are called UAV CAN. This is the series of the new sensors, new devices that are connected via the CAN bus. And the CAN bus offers speed, offers reliability, offers the safety because it's a differential protocol, very resistance to different stuff that might be happening. And come on, we use the CAN bus in the, our cars and they are somehow not at least now not having too much of the electrical problems, they started to introduce the series of the UAV CAN. And today I have with me the GPS, GPS and the barometer and the magnetometer called the M8Q CAN, which can be connected via the CAN bus, but I, will, I don't have the wires with me. So you just plug the CAN wire to this thing and plug this to the flight controller and you have the GPS magnetometer, normal stuff, but that's not all. This thing is not only a GPS and the barrow and the other stuff, this thing also has own CPU and this thing, yeah, maybe if I will focus, and this thing also can act as a host for other devices. So it is for example possible to connect this thing via the CAN bus to the H 743 and then connect for example the digital uh, airspeed sensor to the controller itself to the CAN controller itself and use the CAN bus to communicate uh, the airspeed data from the airspeed to the uh, not really a GPS but like a CAN controller and then to the flight controller itself over the very reliable CAN bus. So um, this might look like, uh, let's say, slight overkill, but to be honest, maybe not really, because on the longer run it makes sense. Uh, if you're having a big airplane, big, uh, big build that's a scale of, I don't know, B-17, B-29, and uh, you have to put the airspeed sensor somewhere far from the flight controller itself, you rather do not want to connect this thing via the I2C. Uh, because the I2C really sucks in such a conditions and you rather do not want to do it. Serial port, but we do not really have a serial port uh, setups yet and there's always a problem of not enough serial ports, well, maybe not with this board, but still you can connect, you can put this somewhere on the wing, far away from any interference, install the airspeed sensor next to it and then use the very reliable CAN bus to send data from this over the long distance to the flight controller. But this is the future. This is the future. We will see if this thing will catch up, if this will be the next uh, big thing in the airplanes. Nobody knows yet. Like I said in the beginning, the Ardu pilot can work with this flight controller. INAV not yet. I hope that INAV support will come in the next few weeks, at least in the development versions. And INAV 2.6 will have support for H743 and the UAV connect over the CAN bus. Um, I think that's all on the topic. Interesting, but still, because I'm rather not using Ardu Pilot, that we have to say that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye.